sensei Steve, we're going to look at isometric yin yang theory, which is my theory about the body when if you flex opposite sides, front and back, top and bottom, in an isometric fashion, it makes you weak. So here's a demonstration we use kinesiology, that's nice and strong. So if you grip the floor with that foot and make a fist with the opposite side, yin yang, and this goes weak. Okay? There's lots of ways of doing kinesiology, that's a user-friendly way. You can test the abdominal strength by smacking the geezer. If you want to get matchy on and see that it is real and old school, you can do that. Or you can use a centre lock, which is incredibly painful. This is user-friendly. Right, thanks Steve. I'll jump in and show what this is all about. Just going to flip the camera down a little bit. So. PNF stretching, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. So if you're stretching and you do this PNF, you squeeze your legs together, you relax and then you take up the slack and then you keep doing that. And I think the, the old, this is a long time ago, they said nine seconds. Well, the Russian guys say do it for 30 minutes. I've done it for 30 minutes before and it works really well but I had wobbly knees for a month. <laughs> so, do whatever works for you. I'm doing 20 seconds at the minute and it seems to be working. But, if I do that, it's going to make me weak. Also, reciprocal intervention. We've changed the name, but that's what I'm sticking with. So now, if you push out, so you're doing an isometric on the opposite muscle that you want to stretch, it will tell it to relax via the nervous system and then you can take up the slack. So we'll quickly now test those two with Steve and up we get. So if you flip the camera back up Steve and jump into shot. That's it lovely. Pile back in. So let's do the kinesiology routine. So if you get a nice wide stance that'll do it. So we test this nice and strong. Squeeze your legs together then we check, squeeze a kitten, negative feedback. So when you do this type of exercise, you're getting a negative feedback. So we do the same thing again, relax. This is strong. Now push your feet out. Then we check. So both of those stretching techniques will give you a negative feedback, which you don't want. So all right, if, you, if you're a youngster, you'll get away with it and you'll get bendy. But when you're in your 60s, you want no negative feedback whatsoever, you're going to get nowhere. And I got the maximum stress I've ever had in my life this morning, which was nice. Using this technique, well, when we fix the technique, which we're going to do now. Thank you very much. Okay, there's a Sensei Steve. There is another negative feedback from stretching from, I'm calling it extreme body misalignment theory, and that one's mine. Don't know if we can do it, but we'll have a go. So, Steve, stretch your legs as wide as you possibly can. Stick an arm out. Let's give it a test. We're in sharp. Yes, that's strong. Now, go wider than you possibly can. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That's from the sensory nodes in the skin. So you're stretching the skin, you get negative feedback. Well, you've got a fix for that as well. Thank you very much. Okay, Sensei Steve, we've just done some sound vibration techniques that I'm told don't work. <laughs> yeah, right. Give us a nice stretch, Steve, and we'll see if we can get this extreme body misalignment thing fixed. Give us an arm. This is strong, right? Go further than you possibly can, so we know that's a pain. So we're stretching the skin. We're stretching. Oh, that's a pain. <coughs> Excellent. Right, let's try this. Strong as that. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, you get a negative feedback from stretching the skin further than it's gone before from the sensory nerves. We've now fixed that, so you won't get a negative feedback with extreme misalignment or getting near the box splits. You'll get a positive feedback. 
Fantastic. Thank you very much. Winner.